Okay, so here I am in DeepNote. I'm gonna pull in some weather data from my Snowflake warehouse. You can see the schema here on the right. To do that, I'll use an SQL block and the results will be returned into a pandas data frame. Okay, great. So what you're looking at here are readings from various weather stations across New York State. Now, it looks like my colleague Sam would like me to focus on a smaller list of weather stations. So I'll pass this Python list directly into my SQL statement and filter the results. Great, now I can also see there are some data types I'm going to want to change and some null values I'll want to deal with. I can even filter the results and sort them directly on the data frame. Let's clean the data using Python. Great, I have the date types I want and there are no more null values. I'm going to build a prototype visualization just to explore the data. Let's see if there is the expected seasonality in this data. Okay, sure enough, things get warmer in the summer months and colder in the winter months. Let's build a more elaborate data visualization. For that, I'll use Altair. I have this rather large function. Let me hide this block so my colleagues don't have to see it and run the function. Great, so now I have something that can allow my colleagues to explore the data a little bit more thoroughly. Let's take this input argument and parameterize it with a drop down menu. So I'll choose the select block. Let's call it stations. And let's build that list from the previously defined station list. Okay, great. Pass in stations and the data are filtered appropriately. Now, as I mentioned before, I wanna keep this analysis always up to date. So I've gone ahead and scheduled this notebook to run daily at 12 a.m. And the last thing is we wanna turn this notebook into an interactive application. So I'll open up the publishing editor and do just that. On the left, I have my notebook and on the right, I have the application itself. And you can choose which blocks to include in the application. You can even drag them around so you have the layout that you want. And when it's all said and done, you end up with an application that looks a little something like this. And of course, you can just share this application by sending the link. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this brief look at DeepNote. There's so much more you can do with it. Definitely check it out.